Uh, hello, I want to do a vlog. I literally, literally just came back from my longest jog that I've done before. Um, and yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I'm like <laughs> happy to have stopped now. So I just want to put this on. Okay. Well, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, so I've just come back. Um, it's Tuesday and my marathon is on Sunday and what happened was uh, I think up to I think up, up to about last week I was running about 10k or something roughly around 10k because it's very hard for me to find um, so many hours to run and then um, on the weekend I ran 12k and I felt really good and um, then I had a day rest and yesterday I ran because it's I, I figured that Monday and Tuesday were going to be my last two um, big long runs before the marathon so I just wanted to um, do as much as, uh, as well as I could so uh, last yesterday I went um, further than I usually go like I went further and um, I thought I I was hoping I'd done 10 kilometers away from my house and then 10 kilometers back and that would be a half marathon roughly I was hoping that when I came home um, I checked it out on the running maps kind of plot your route kind of thing and it turned out it was 7.7k in one direction and back so 15.4 kilometers so I was like a bit disappointed like I was oh I ran all that way it wasn't half it wasn't even half a marathon yet you know so like and also at the pace I was going I I, I don't I wasn't sure if I could because I need to finish the marathon within seven hours because it starts at seven finishes at two o'clock so I need to get within that time like and yeah, people are, I'm reading stuff like people said they can walk it in less than seven hours, I don't know, fast walks, I don't know, but I want to make sure that I can run at a pace where I, hopefully, you know, not like seven hours, I want to get it well before that so that there's no like touch and go kind of thing. Um, so today was my, almost my last run, probably my, my last long run before the marathon, so I decided, I'll, I mapped out how far I had to go, yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, I mapped it out on my running map kind of thing, the thing, and I and I, I worked it out to get to like 10.5k or more. I have to go all the way down that freeway, Western Westall Extension, all the way down up to South Gippsland Highway, and in my because if you don't know Melbourne, it's in my head like I live in Springvale and South Gippsland Highway is pretty far away and I can't get my head around that I um, can run that far like to get there like it's I don't know it's just mind-boggling and so today um, I left my house about quarter quarter to five and um, I decided I was running and I felt okay so yesterday I, I mean yeah so I, and I decided today when I was running I would just push it a little bit so still within a comfort zone but just pushing the edge of comfort zone like just speeding up a little bit just to make sure, like I wanted to make sure my pace was good enough, not too slow a pace, and um, and I, I figured because I didn't normally like to run with a uh, run keeper on because every five minutes it'll tell me like my pace and how far I've gone, and I find that very distracting and also trying to maintain the the timing. It's too much. I don't like thinking about that stuff. So, but then I found out there's an option where you can just switch off that and it just does the recording, but it doesn't tell you every five minutes how you're going which is perfect for me like I, I do want to know how far I run and stuff but and the pace and stuff but I don't want to be reminded during the run I just want to listen to my techno music which kind of gets me in the hard style music which is awesome um, also I just want to show no I can't show it before just my shoes so, oh, there we are the Vibram Sprints I love them like um, having no issues with them at all the only issue is just my legs uh, feeling tired on the way back and that, that I'm hoping that, that it's because I did a really long run yesterday, like the longest I've done before yesterday and today. Like, hopefully that is why I'm feeling so t like. And but I could still cruise along. It wasn't pleasant. It's funny. Um, the last part of it, I was like, just like, oh, I don't care anymore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was like, yeah, yeah. I don't know how to explain it, but okay, you want to be here live. Um, when. The run keeper tells me my workout summary. Okay. 
activity stopped. Is it gonna tell me anything? <laughs> no? Cause is that because I switched? Activity completed. Workout summary. Total time. Three hours. Seven minutes. Fifty-three seconds. Total distance. Twenty-two point three two kilometers. Average pace. Eight minutes. Twenty-five seconds per kilometer. Phew. <sighs> All right, so I have run a half marathon distance because half marathon is 21k. I'm really happy. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. So, um, so hopefully with a rest, you know, the rest um, up till the marathon, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, resting. And also I find that every time I run a distance, the next time I attempt run again, it's easier, always. So maybe I can squeeze in another run tomorrow. I'm not sure. But um, hopefully on, on the marathon day, um, hopefully I can do it. At that pace, I've run a half marathon in about three hours and seven minutes. So on that pace, I think I can do this, hopefully. But uh, anyways, it's, um, I, I read a quote um, from just a blog that I read that someone was saying, um, oh, I've got that in a photo. Oh, I'll, I'll show you some photos of South Gibson Highway too, because it just boggles my mind that I was there. Okay, so that's getting close to the South Gippsland Highway. Getting closer. <laughs> there. That's the intersection. Oh. And yeah, basically I stood on the... Yeah, I was standing there going, I've never gone this far before. Um, what was I was going to show you? I was going to show you something. Ugh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I don't even know what I'm doing. Anyways, I'll uh, catch you guys later. Oh, the, the thing, the, the, the quote. I really like the quote. Basically, it's saying um, that running doesn't... You're not trying to prove anything. Something like this goes. Um, a true runner has the heart and soul for the sport, which does not have to be proved to anyone but oneself. Mm. So it's from a... Yeah, it's good. I like that idea. So cool, I'll catch you guys later.